Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to reciprocity theorem. In the previous video, we discussed the basic concepts associated with reciprocity theorem statement, some explanation and we solved one problem to prove the validity of reciprocity theorem. So here we are again with uh, another question. So again, a single source network we have considered and we have to prove the validity of reciprocity theorem here. So see we have this circuit the first figure where the single source voltage source is 10 volt and we have the other resistor branches connected and in the second figure the difference is that the 10 volt voltage source is being shifted to the middle branch the second branch okay so here in uh, order to prove the validity of reciprocity theorem we have to find out the current in this middle branch the second branch in the first figure okay pay attention this current in the first figure and for the second figure we have to find out the current here and if these two currents are equal then reciprocity theorem is valid okay so let us redraw the circuit And volt to ohm three ohm this is one ohm this is okay so our objective here is to find this current here we'll be using nodal analysis approach so let us say the voltage here at this node is V let's say this current here is I here it is I1 here it is I2 so when we apply KCL here the KCL equation is I is equal to I1 plus I2 I in terms of the voltage and resistances it is 10 minus V by 2 so I've already discussed a lot of uh, things related to nodal analysis mesh analysis so I'll not be going into detail I will be directly writing the equations 10 minus V by 2 for I for I1 it is V minus 0 by 3 or simply V by 3 I2 is simply V by the total resistance 1 ohm plus 2 ohm which is 3 okay so here then again we can write it as simplifying it 10 by 2 is 5 that is equal to minus v by 2 when it goes to the right hand side becomes plus it is v by 2 plus 2 v by 3 okay that here lcm 6 that is 3 v plus 4 v that is equal to 7 v by 6 that implies 7 v is equal to 30 that implies v is equal to 30 by 7 that is equal to it is coming around 4.28 volts so we have got this voltage now our objective here is to calculate this current flowing through the 3 ohm branch this this we have to calculate that is I1 that is our objective 
So I1 here is equal to 4.28 V by 3 which is equal to 4.28 volt by 3 ohm which is equal to it is 1.4267 or we can just write it round it off 1.43 ampere this this is the current which we wanted it was our objective to calculate this i1 next we will focus on figure 2 find out this current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor so again we have to redraw the circuit so for that shifting the 10 volt voltage source to the middle branch so it will be 2 ohm 3 ohm 10 volt then we have it is here 1 ohm and 2 ohm so again let us use the nodal analysis approach let us say the current here is i dash okay and here let's say this current flowing is i1 dash okay and this current flowing is i2 dash our objective is to find i1 dash that is our objective okay because the 10 volt voltage source was initially present in the first branch so again the kcl equation here i dash is equal to i1 dash plus i2 dash when we write i dash in terms of the voltage and current it becomes let us call this as v dash okay the node voltage because the second figure in order to avoid confusion 10 minus v dash by 3 okay so we reassigned this v as v dash because in the previous also we assumed it as v so in order to avoid confusion we renamed it as v dash 10 minus v dash by 3 ohm i1 dash is v dash by 2 ohm and i2 dash is v dash by 1 plus 2 that is 3 v dash by 3 that implies 10 by 3 is equal to v dash by 2 plus v dash by 3 plus v dash by 3 v dash by 3 it is negative in LHS when it goes to the RHS right hand side becomes positive so again that implies 10 by 3 is equal to 6 3 v dash plus total it will be 4 v dash that is 7 v dash by 6 that implies v dash is equal to 10 by 3 into 6 by 7 okay so it is coming around this is 60 by 21 that is uh, 2.85 volt 2.85 volts so our objective here we have got v dash our objective here is to calculate i1 dash so that is 2.85 divided by 2 i1 dash is equal to v dash by 2 ohm that is 2.85 divided by 2 okay so that is also coming around same similar close to 
1.42 something uh, and uh, rounding it off we are getting 1.43 ampere okay it is coming 1.42 something like that and when we round it off we get 1.43 ampere now pay attention in the previous case in the previous figure when we calculated i1 flowing through the 3 ohm branch when the 10 volt was in the first branch that came 1.43 ampere here also that is coming 1.43 ampere with the 10 volt present in the middle branch current in the first branch is 1.43 Four three ampere. Both the currents are equal when the position of the voltage source are interchanged. The current values staying the same, they are getting interchanged within the two branches. Okay, so here in between these two branches, when the voltage sources are interchanged, the current values are equal. So when they are equal it means reciprocity theorem is verified is valid okay